tidy who yeah guys how you guys doing today well there we are next Tuesday or Tuesday coming you know next week I yours truly will be signing the lease that's right the lease for his arraign spanking new place. Yep. So you are looking at wearing a happy, happy camper. <laughs> now, pardon me while I do this. Yes. I am a little thirsty. And no, it's not coffee this time. I know Melissa and Bruce is like, hey, why ain't you drinking our coffee? I am. I just do it in moderation. Now soon, I'll be able to step away from the old instant coffee it has freshly brewed coffee mmm but of course I'm gonna give me one of those mini uh, coffee makers or probably go old school and get me one a perk a later one that goes on the stove Yeah, old school. Mm-hmm. Like my grandmama used to have. She had one of those old percolator ones. Right on the stove. Best coffee you ever had. Mm. I mean, drip coffee's good. But man, it's just something about percolated coffee. Ha. And by me getting one of those little small ones, see, I can get the fancy coffee. Because it will last me a long time. Sorry about that, the garbage truck just drove by. No. No. And yes, I also had a couple cookies too. And then a couple more. Because, well, Bruce, you make cookies too damn well. I'm going to have to check your man card. <laughs> I'm going to have to check your man card. Okay? <laughs> Send me a photostatic copy. <laughs> now, I... I hate this. I'm not really good with names. But you guys... Is, you know, the youngest daughter. Remember when she when she handed me those stones? I still have them, and they are going with me to my new place. I figure. One moment. You see, there's a few things that are considered good luck. Now, everybody knows that the four-leaf clover and the horseshoe is supposed to mean, you know, for, for good luck. 
but pebbles are meant so this is where you build your foundation They're about a solid rock I stand all around me. There's nothing but quicksand. That's about faith. And those stones represent faith. Because that's what those stones is what you build faith upon. Wow, you guys didn't know I could get philosophical on you, did you? <laughs> so those are going to go on my window seal. Window seals, actually, because we'll put a couple here, a couple there, a couple there. Bring good luck all around the place, you know. And I'm, I said I'm going to do that. Found out one of the guys that I I helped years ago. Basically, I told him to get up off of his ass, get help through the Veterans Administration. Well, he lives in that building now. He's also been sober for a couple years. So that's a good thing for him. Because when I seen him, I was like, is that who I think it is? Oh, oh wow. And so me and him talk as I was waiting for my ride. And he was telling the other lady, he said, hey, if it wasn't for this man, you know, I'd have been still out on the street. He's a good dude. He's got a good man from be moving up in here. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That reminds me, they got an Elvis impersonator here. Reminds me of a, of a quote from... Highlander. It could be only one. <laughs> and yes, I am a Elvis fan. A fanatic. You know. But a fan. There there is a there is a difference. You know, I love listening to his music. Love his new movies. And here comes Life Bears. Oh, ever get the chance? There is a movie that Elvis did called Charo. Okay, it's a western. Something like the outlaw Josie Wales type of stuff that Clint Eastwood was doing. But you only hear Elvis sing one time. And that's the beginning to title credits. Begin you know, title credits and ending credits. Okay, well twice then. Those only time that you hear him singing. The main part of the movie? No singing. He had it in his contract. And people were shocked. First of all, it's an Elvis movie without him singing it. And then they found out, oh damn, he can act. 
then they find, like I said, then Hollywood find out, oh damn, he can act. Now, it wasn't an no Academy Award winning thing like that, but it did show that he had some chops. Besides the mutton chops that he had here. <laughs> Those of us in their forties will understand that one. Well, wow, I'm I'm past the ten minute mark, almost going to the eleven minute mark. So it's me saying peace. I'm out of here. Until next time. May the Lord bless you. Keep you all with. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye.